Hey guys, how's it going? Textbix here. Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be comparing two of the best note-taking slash productivity apps, Craft and Notion. As a user of both of them who has switched to and from them multiple times over the last couple months, each of them offer a very high quality experience for just writing down ideas as well as keeping your life together. But which one is better? Without further ado, let's find out. Okay, so starting off with the design and the UI, Notion contains a fairly simple interface, sidebar on the left with all of your folders, templates, settings and so forth, and a big portion on the right where you write stuff. Each line is split into a block where you can drag it up and down the page, and the six dot rectangle on the left lets you view different actions you can do, such as delete or duplicate, formatting options, color changing, and more. However, the best thing I like about Notion's design is its title styling. You can of course have a heading with whatever name you want, but you can also label each note with an emoji and add a banner style background from Onsplash or from your own custom photos. I find this feature really useful, especially for when I was studying for my exams, as I could visually associate the content that I had to learn with a related image. On the other hand, Craft is similar, but also kind of different. Craft also has the same layout of your content on the right with a sidebar on the left, but it's slightly cleaner in my opinion, with lots of transparency and icons that feel more polished than just standard emojis. There's also an All Documents menu which lets you see all of your notes in a floating tile, grid or list view, and Craft additionally lets you have multiple tabs of notes open at the same time. It also has a second sidebar on the left too, that is always accessible for formatting, exporting or viewing information about your note, as well as just changing colours and sizing when you want to group lines together into a nested page. Although it provides essentially the same experience as Notion does, these little things just make Craft so much better and cleaner to use, and for that, it wins the first point. Continuing on from the design of each app, let's talk a bit about what formatting options each one gives you. Both Craft and Notion use similar forward slash commands to allow you to bring up a pop-up menu so that you can quickly use a variety of tools. As we expect from Craft, it's very condensed and is organised as a list of categories that can then be expanded to reveal each individual action. Notion is mostly the same as well, but instead it will give you a very long list of options that you have to scroll through one by one. However, it is not without good reason. There are some options within Notion that aren't currently supported by Craft, such as databases, i.e. calendars, tables, etc., and something called embeds from other sources like Google Maps, GitHub, Twitter, Figma, and more that let you have data directly within your notes. Another thing that I personally like doing is making handwritten notes on my iPad in Notability and then exporting that to whatever note app that I'm using. With Notion, you can see a full preview of an imported PDF and you can resize it, scroll through it, etc. But in Craft, it just comes up as a link that you can't even open natively. Furthermore, Notion also lets you install templates from online so that you can organize everything without having to know how to change it all yourself, which is pretty great for beginners. Of course, both apps still let you do all the basic formatting stuff like titles, colors, to-do lists, code, formulae, and so forth, but the things like databases and embeds just make Notion that much more powerful as it lets you input more data into your notes. And for that, it was the point, making the score one-to-one. -one. Okay, so the next thing to talk about is performance. And whilst it may not seem like a massive thing to consider with a notes app, well, it kind of is here. The biggest difference between Craft and Notion is that Craft is a native app and Notion is essentially a web app. All this means is that Craft is an actual app that runs on your device, whereas Notion runs almost like a browser, taking your notes from their servers online to let you view them on whatever device you're looking at. Craft also lets you have the option of storing notes locally on your devices, and that of course means you don't have to wait for your internet to fetch all of your notes and update them if you don't want to. Overall, this then means that Notion can sometimes feel sluggish when compared to Craft, as it mostly depends on internet and Notion servers. I know for a fact that during lockdown, Notion was having a tough time due to much increased traffic, and there have definitely been times where you have to wait a while at the loading screen just so that it can open. Therefore, Craft wins this round for sure, and that makes the score 2 to 1. So Craft is better performing, but there's definitely a reason why. Device support. Craft is only available on Apple devices, so that's on an iPhone, iPad, and a Mac. There is also a web version that's currently in beta if you don't use any Apple devices, but even after being invited to use it, I for some reason couldn't figure out how to find my license key so it could be activated. Basically, to summarize it then, Apple devices yes, anything else no, at least for now. Notion on the other hand is available on pretty much every single platform, iOS, macOS, Windows, Android, and so forth. 
And even if it's not available as a downloadable app, well, it's a web app. If you go to the Notion website in any browser, it's basically the same experience if you did have the app. This means that if you're someone who needs that cross-platform support as they don't use solely Apple devices, Notion is the way to go and that earns it another point. That all being said though, what about pricing? Craft has three tiers, free, professional, and team. The free tier is the one that most people will use and it offers a thousand blocks or notes, syncing between all of your Apple devices, markdown tools, and simple PDF export. Professional costs $45 a year and has all of the free tier stuff, plus unlimited usage, search tools, higher quality media, and some more formatting options. The team tier currently isn't available yet, but it does say on the website that you can contact Craft to see how much it is for admin and organization tools if you need to manage multiple people. In contrast, Notion has four tiers that are a little bit more expensive. The free tier that most people will use lets you have as many pages and blocks as you like, lets you sync across any device, and lets you share with five other people. The personal pro tier works out to be $48 a year, but gives you unlimited file uploads, unlimited guests, and a version history of all of your notes. The team tier is $96 a year, and like Craft, it lets you do all of the same admin tools, collaboration, permissions, and so forth. Then you have the enterprise tier, which I guess is for really big companies who need to manage many people, but that has no price and you again need to contact the sales team in order to get any access to it. Like I said, when compared to Craft, Notion is slightly more expensive, but for the free tier, which is what I think many people will be using, well, Notion is better value, especially when you consider the cross-platform support and the unlimited pages. As a result, this means that Notion wins the point yet again, and that makes the final score 3 to 2. So. Notion wins. But that does not mean that you should discard Craft entirely, at least for now. Craft has only been out since November of 2020, so it's a relatively new service, and so far with its clean design and snappy performance, I can't wait to see what other features they're going to add over the coming year. If they can figure out cross-platform support, I definitely think Craft could overtake Notion entirely, and I for one would definitely be up to switching if I had the peace of mind that I could use it on any device that I may have. But it would be interesting to hear down below in the comments, which one do you prefer? I know that there are people who have switched to Craft entirely just for the performance benefits, and there are others who swear by Notion for its template support and embeds, so let me know down below. And that's about it for this video, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe as it would really help the channel out. This is Dexpix here, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.